So we have the cornbread cooling down from the last video. Next up in the Thanksgiving treats, we're going to be doing some scalloped potatoes, also outside on the grill in the cast iron, with a little bit of a Cajun twist to tie in with the Cajun smoked turkey that I'm going to be doing, and also using my favorite Old Crock smoked cheddar. Should give it a nice interesting twist to scalloped potatoes. So let's see how that comes out. Okay, to start, I'm gonna have to peel all of these potatoes and then slice them into about one each inch thick slices. Um, so we'll speed through all that, grade the cheese, and start putting this together. Easy peasy cleanup. Okay, let's see which knife works better. Let's just scallop these potatoes. that up, move on to the next step. All right, down to the last potato. That took quite a while. Whew, not an easy business. If I had a mandolin, this process would have gone a lot faster. So if I ever plan on making scalloped potatoes again, a mandolin I shall invest in but these days I'm not investing much in anything. <laughs> okay. I'll let those potatoes soak, put those off to the side. Now I need to dice up an onion. Sad to see this poor onion cut off. <laughs> Dusting the eyes, though, I'm not lying. sauce with these onions. We use us some of the ghee. Some of the ghee. the Creole seasoning.
we're going to start making the sauce. It's going to be half a cup of flour and two cups of heavy cream. I'm just going to put a little bit of the flour in. Mix that up with the onions. And I put it in in little bits. Heat down. So it goes in one cup of chicken stock. A little overexposed there, so. And the rest of the flour. Okay, it's getting dark out, sorry. I'm trying to do too much in one day. But I'm trying to utilize all the coals on the grill. Let's finish grating up this cheese. Actually, before I finish that, I'm go strain out these potatoes. Finish that cheese, finish that cheese, finish, finish, finish that cheese. Nancy smells the cheese, I can hear it coming. Nancy smells the cheese. Don't you, Nancy? You sly little dog, you. I'm surprised that Jimmy's not bothering us, huh, Nancy? He's tired out from all that activity earlier, bothered me. <laughs> okay. cast iron pan back. I'm just going to start forming this bad boy. And we got our sauce. And now we build. So, put a layer of sauce down. A little bit of layer of sauce on the bottom. Start laying out our potatoes. Layer potatoes, sprinkle of Cajun seasoning. Third of the amount of cheese. <coughs> Tell you that Tony Chat just makes me sneeze all the time. Layer of the sauce. This is a thick sauce, huh? Fuck. Mm 
and repeat. All right, into the grill we go. Okay, as you can see, it's gotten much darker out, but we're going to keep going. We're going to let these cook. Maybe around an hour, we're gonna come check it in a half hour though. See how it's doing. It's still at about 400 degrees. So, I don't know if you saw, I had a lot of potatoes left. So I'm just gonna go throw some in a baking dish and cook them in the oven with some cheese, au gratin style maybe, who knows? Okay, so it's been about a half hour. We're just gonna see how this is looking. Let it go some more. Potatoes need to be cooked a little bit more. Eventually. delicious. I feel like this is a huge success over the cornbread. Cornbread came out okay, but it wasn't a win, let's be honest, with the way that crust formed and that pan's hot. What am I, an idiot? Put that on there so you know. This looks fantastic, guys. And then I had all those leftover potatoes, as you saw. So I just threw those in the oven which is a bunch of layers of cheese. Let's take that out. See how those came out. So this is more, you know, this is a scallop potato. Scallop potato uses more of a cream sauce and potatoes au gratin is more just potatoes and cheese, as far as I know. That's what I was told. So let's see. Oh yeah. Delicious potatoes all around. Give these a little prick. A little prick, a little prick. Let's see how they came out. Yeah. Potatoes are cooked! Those look delicious too. Mm. Do I dare break into any of these? These are too hot. This has been sitting for a while, so I'm gonna take a bite of these and see how they are. Where do I take a bite out of this, guys? Maybe right at the edge. Oh, look at 
that. That is a fucking scallop potatoes, guys. God, it smells delicious. Oh, damn! Mmm! Holy fuck, that's good! Ah, that's so good! Mmm! Wow! That is delicious! Holy cow! Okay. The cornbread, you might have been like, why is this guy filming this? Because, you know, we can't always be winners. You know, this is an experiment for me. It's called Can Crane Do It. Sometimes I might not be able to, or I'm gonna have to try again. But this, right out of the go, first time ever making scalloped potatoes. Mmm. I think we've perfected how to use the cast iron skillet. Oh, in the oven. And the smoky old crock cheese. Oh, God, this is... This is a win, win, win. This is so good. I'm so excited. Whew. All right, guys. Let's hope this turkey can, can turn out just as good. Wow. Mmm. Oh my God, I could eat that whole pan. So good. Nancy's dancing in the other room. She's so excited. And Jimmy's sleeping because he was bothering me all day while I was cooking. And now he's all tuck it out. Mmm, this is so good. You want to have dinner now, don't you? Mmm, mmm. I'll feed you next. Let's see if these gratin have cooled down enough to try one. Mmm, mmm. These are really good too. This is more just like a roasted potato with cheese. Mmm. And this was also just like whatever cheeses I had left in the fridge. There's like cheddar, Parmesan seasoned pizza cheese, Swiss. This is this is delicious too. Damn. Mm -mm -mm. I love potatoes. This is so good. Thanks for watching, guys. Yummy.